Hello everyone. This presentation is by Michael Cowling, ICT mentor at Aberfoyle Park High School. On behalf of Principal Liz Mead and the school, welcome to Seriously Fun Learning Using iPads. Here's an overview of today's presentation. Let's begin with some school context, followed by some history. After that, details about what's happening now, and then, questions and answers. Aberfoyle Park High School is a large co-ed high school of approximately 1,000 students in the foothills about 40 minutes drive south from the city. We use ICT as a focus on innovation and teaching and learning. Using iPads, our most recent ICT innovation began with a three-week pilot in 2011. This was followed in 2012 by staff training and development in using iPads in the classroom. In Term 3 last year, the school decided on a parent purchase strategy in time for the start of the 2013 school year. In first term this year, we ran two parent training and development courses as an introduction to the iPad and some core iPad apps. So back to 2011. The school set up a pilot project with one year A class for three weeks. iPads were loaned to the students for use in every lesson, and then to be returned at the end of the day. Here are some student comments after using iPads for three weeks in every lesson. It's easy to see how there was a lot of seriously fun learning for these year eights. At the end of the three weeks, the students were asked to review, in their choice of app, how useful they found the iPads, and how good iPads can be for learning. Here is one student's review, which he made entirely on an iPad in about an hour. Another example of seriously fun learning. As a result, the school decided to implement iPads for Year 8s for teaching and learning, in time for the 2013 school year. We began 2012 with training and development sessions on encouraging teachers to make assignments more engaging. We wanted to take advantage of the enhancements which ICT, especially iPads, can bring to learning. Teachers were invited to participate. We tried a flipped classroom strategy to support their learning. The next stage was for these teachers to bring a buddy to the second round of training and development sessions. At the same time, we started the school online support site. The first round was popular, with about one-third of staff volunteering. We decided to call them the iPad champions. The deal for teachers was get an iPad, and commit to training and development, which included sharing learning discoveries. This generated a lot of excitement and enthusiasm, as you can see in this vision-only clip. We tried the flipped classroom strategy because we wanted to promote anytime anywhere learning. We also wanted teachers to experience getting faster help in lessons so that they would offer the same opportunities to their students. Training and development resources were made available early, so that teachers could have the opportunity to get started on the focus task before the session. For a significant minority of teachers, this is exactly what happened. 
As soon as they arrived at training and development, they got on with the task and started asking questions. We published an online handbook to support the teachers, and also to get feedback, because the handbook's intended audience was this year's year 8s and their parents. There's a link to the online iPad site on the school's welcome page. Here is a clip from a support movie, which has had nearly a thousand views. To use a sound effect, drag the movie so that the playhead is where you want the sound to start. And then tap the name of the sound effect so that the sound can be copied into your movie. Tap the sound effect in your movie and the highlight will show yellow handles at each end. If you drag one of these, you can shorten the sound effect to suit. If you double tap the sound effect, you can drag the slider to adjust the volume. You can also delete the sound effect. When you're finished, tap outside the Bringing a buddy to round two of iPad training and development was the next step and a success because it provided handy support for the body, as well as ramping up enthusiasm for sharing discoveries, as you can see in this vision-only clip. We started using Apple TV, which has proved to be a great success for sharing learning in a non-threatening way, because people can choose to show either from where they are sitting, or to come out the front. Another teaching and learning development this year has been teachers designing iTunes U courses and iBooks for students to access on their iPads. Here is a selection of courses. One iTunes U course has even been designed by a year 8 student. Whenever his teacher wants worksheets distributed, he, as the course manager, uploads them to the class iTunes U site for 24-7 access, and so improving access, as well as saving printing costs. When the school investigated a bulk school purchase of iPads for 200 plus year 8s, it became obvious that parents could match the school price, so the decision was made for parent purchase. An evening meeting for prospective year 8s and parents late last year was an opportunity to explain the benefits and outline core apps for 24-7 iPad teaching and learning. By day one of this year, 225 students had parent purchased iPads. For the two remaining students, the school organized iPads as part of social justice. On day one this year, when there were only year eights at school, the students downloaded the school handbook to be read on their iPads in iBooks, which is a free app. Here is a selection of pages showing the kind of information available in the handbook. This is the first page, which includes a short intro movie. This page includes details for accessing the school's iPad handbook, as well as another movie on how to take a good photo. This page shows an electronic agenda for the first day. This page explains how to decode a student timetable for time, place, subject and subject teacher. This page contains a number of short movies on how to do stuff using the core apps. Often, these movies have been published on YouTube. A major iPad project early this year was when the school iPad media team filmed, on iPads, the federal government community cabinet meeting, held at the school in February. This proved to be a seriously fun way of learning because of the high profile nature of the subject matter. Here's a short clip, filmed on an iPad, in which Minister Penny Wong engages in conversation with the student behind the iPad actually doing the filming. As an ambassador, we just escort the ministers to where they're going to be having their meetings and ask any questions and answer them if they have any. How are you going? Oh, oh you're PMNC, are you? Where am I going? So, Natasha, are you doing this all day? Uh, well... Or just on me? Just on people who... just on ministers who've arrived. Oh, okay. The true test of effective teaching and learning is when students talk about their learning to a public audience. This is exactly what happened about a month ago, when a group of Year 8s took their iPads to Education Department headquarters in Adelaide. The students individually presented their favorite iPad app to a group of curriculum experts. Here are two selections to show how articulate and engaging their presentations were. I'm just going to add a picture for now. But 
basically what that does is it allows you to write on top of the page. I'll show you that in a minute. But after you've added pictures and things, you can edit them however you want. So that is adding text. You've got different options up the top when you go into the plus. So you have your text option and you can write on it. So, of course, as you can see, if you had um, page work that your teachers wanted to email to you, you just put that into your pages and you can write your answers onto there. This is very good for a classroom environment. Um, also, you can add different shapes and things just for the students to have a bit more fun with the way that it all works. And there's a whole heap more you can do with it. So really, you can just spend ages working on adding pictures, different shapes, making your presentation look good. Like different genres, the instrument, like in the modern instruments, it's like... If you want to play a single note, if you go, you go into notes, and then you can select the instrument you want to use, like a violin. Mm, that was pretty nice. <laughs> 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 well, that's what you can do, like, and like this makes it so it's like a real violin. So you like, so if I hold it like this, and it's like. Oh, wow. So yeah, you can do all sorts. Of them. I'll show you the smart guitar. I'll play some guitar. But you can like play a chord just by stripping. And you can choose different guitars, like I could use a hard rock guitar. <laughs> because there were parent requests for learning about iPads, the school has delivered two evening introductory iPad courses, each over three weeks. About 30 parents have participated even to the point of doing homework and then emailing it to the teacher, just like their son or daughter has been doing. Because they often borrowed their son's or daughter's iPad, they also had the opportunity to see what their child had been doing or not doing, as in the case of the homework app. Here's a short clip of parents talking about iPads and learning. I would say that I was a little unsure on how it all worked. Excited, really, because it was something new. Actually gaining access to the item was rather tricky. Um, it, it was new to our house. It's almost like an extension of the children's arms though because they're on them constantly. Um, and that's probably the hardest uh, thing to have to monitor. I even found the sessions before we started Year 8 invaluable. The question and answers, mm -hmm. the, the, the plethora of questions that came from the audience that I only, I only had a few questions that got answered but then there was these other ones that went, oh that's a good idea. Um, you know, are they ever going to touch a book? Yes, of course they are. In summary, seriously fun learning on iPads has been an educational feature at Aberfoyle Park High School. How it has happened is down to the focus on people and getting them up to speed rather than on technology. When it has happened, is not quickly, but rather, over several years, so that bringing a critical mass of people is the top priority. Why the school has implemented iPads, is because students and teachers are increasingly enjoying seriously fun learning, anytime and anywhere. So what's next? Top priority is training and development for teachers new to the school and any other teachers who want to refresh their skills. These workshops start this afternoon and continue for about four weeks. Next, we plan to review our first term of iPads in teaching and learning. We need to survey students, teachers, and parents to find out what went well and what needs to improve. The school is presenting at an international conference next month where our topic is professional development, so we need to organize our assets for this. Every presentation is an opportunity to review our work, so it's more than just telling a story to an audience. Soon, an iPad in the maths curriculum research study will begin with a year 8 class. The aim is to investigate opportunities for using iPads to do maths problems. Finally, we need to complete implementing a strategy for students to send large files of completed work to their teachers.
This was a serious problem last term when students attempted to send email attachments which far exceeded email limits. Now, it's your turn. It's time for question and answer.